So if you guys can tell by the title of this video, my phone got freaking stolen today. Now for any of you guys that know me in real life, I freaking love my phone. My phone is always on me. I always have my phone on me 24-7. I love my phone. I use my phone all the time for all kinds of stuff. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, you name it. I use everything, all the social media stuff on my phone. And I'm always on it 24-7, so that makes it even worse that I just lost my phone. And my phone is really, really nice. I love my phone. It's an iPhone 6, and uh, it got freaking stolen. Now let me explain how it freaking got stolen, okay? So today I ended up waking up really early. I went to go get a haircut because the haircut place is only open until 12 o'clock on Saturdays. So I knew I needed to get there earlier than usual because I wake up usually around 11 and 12 the, nowadays because I don't go to school right now. Um, so yeah. So I woke up early, 9.30, go to get me a haircut. Got me a haircut. I think it's a pretty nice haircut, but I, I like the hat more, so that's why I'm wearing the hat so you guys can't really tell. But anywho, I went and got a haircut. Right after I got a haircut, I, I was supposed to work in about 30 minutes. So I was like, well, okay, I work in about 30 minutes, so might as well get me something to eat. And at Dairy Queen, you're allowed a 50% discount. So I go up there in Dairy Queen. I go to Dairy Queen to eat, okay? 30 minutes until I go into my shift and I'm at Dairy Queen and I'm going to get my 50% discount at Dairy Queen. And to be able to use your discount at Dairy Queen for 50% off, you have to be in your uniform and you also have to sign a piece of paper, sign the receipt that they give you. So I'm up there ordering, I order me a double cheeseburger with no pickles, and I got, no offense guys, I, pickles are fucking gross. And then I get me some ice cream too with that and I, they give me the receipt to write down and I have my phone in my hand the entire time I'm ordering. And whenever I'm done ordering, they give me the receipts, like, here, sign this. And so, I just put the phone down for a second and then write the receipt. And when I write the receipt out, I totally forget that I leave my phone right there on the counter. I'm thinking to my whole, I th I'm thinking to myself, oh, it's in my pocket, I, I, that's fine. But no, it was not in my pocket. I go to my table to sit down and I first immediately reach for my pocket for my phone and I'm like, oh shit, I ain't got my phone. So I go back to the front counter where I ordered because I knew I had my phone on me. So I went to the front counter and it's not there. So I'm just immediately thinking to my, that some one of my employees is just fucking with me. It's just like one of them just really just like messing around with me and they are, are just trying to have fun. But they acted pretty darn serious. I was like, all right now, Christina, where's my where's my phone at now? Where's it? You, you, give me my phone. But no, that's not how it went. No, they they was like, no, I I seriously do not have your phone. I end up checking my car, I, I, even even though I knew I ordered with it. And so the manager, like the boss of the of the Dairy Queen, ended up was like, okay, I'll just watch the video and see what happened. So I'm sitting there eating my burger as I patiently wait to see what happened to my phone and my boss comes over there to me and taps me on the shoulder and tells me to come to her office. So I go to her office and I immediately think oh my god one of my employees just took my, took my phone and they're gonna get in serious trouble. And as she takes me into the office and she starts to play the video I start to think I must. I, I think I might have done something really stupid, and I think I I may have like done something really stupid, and I was the one that misplaced the phone. But no, as I keep watching and watching and watching, and right after I order, I even I even see the phone on the counter. Right, I see the phone on the counter. She tells me to keep watching the phone, and right after I'm done ordering, this person that looks like she's from the hood comes right up behind me. To, she's ready to take her order. And so right, if I, right after I leave, my phone is sitting right there on the counter and she leans over the counter with her two arms, right? Her two arms leans over the counter and puts her arms on top of the phone where the phone cannot be seen. So she talks to the cashier at the time with her arms on the phone and right as she goes to leave, she slowly drags her arms and she, she has the phone, her one of her arms are right here so she has the phone right here and she grabs it slowly and puts it in her pocket as she leaves and nobody noticed and literally as she did that she was asking for an application to join Dairy Queen and then she was and then the cashier was like no we aren't hiring anybody right now sorry and she was like okay fine and then she left 
and right as she was leaving, she took the phone and put it in her pocket, and that's when I came back to the front counter looking for my phone. So the lady was putting the phone in her pocket, leaving as I was coming up there asking for my phone. What a bitch. Fucking ass white, man. I fucking hate people like that. Fucking bitch. That's what she is, man. Golly, she's probably taking my phone and selling it for some dope out on the street. Oh my god. The woman looks like a damn raisin. Like, she... Oh my god. I can't believe I fucked that up. So now I don't have a fucking phone. I, I've... I goofed. I totally just goofed that whole thing up. I... I don't have a phone. I can't talk to anybody. It, I, I love to text people. I love to get on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Ah, I can't do that now. But the good news is I have an insurance plan on my phone, so I was able to cancel my phone and turn it all, all, all the, turn the service off so she could, they couldn't even use it. I, I'm pretty sure she ain't able to use it. I have a code on my phone, so she can't even get in my phone unless she cracks into it, which is pretty damn easy in this world now. They find a way somehow, but... She'll probably just use the, somebody to get the end of the phone and like erase the whole entire thing on my phone and just sell it to somebody. I don't even know if they're that smart. They're probably just, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with my phone. But anyways, I turned the service off of my phone and I am getting a new phone for um, in a couple of days. They're going to be sending me one. They're going to be sending me a phone before Nick gets down here, which is good because I'm going to go down to Florida in a, in a very couple of days. So it's a good thing that they're going to be sending me a phone here in a couple of days because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need a phone somehow. I need a phone somehow so I can con have contact with Nick and with my family and with everyone as I go down to Florida, you know? But yeah, the people are assholes, man. Like, they'll take stuff from you and they, they won't even give a shit. Um, so yeah, I don't got a phone. Um, so I'll be using my laptop for the next couple of days and I'm phoneless for the first time in forever. Um, so that's my story of what happened today and I hope you guys mourn my pain in this video and I will talk to you guys in a later video. Um, see you guys later.